Make it louder. Make it louder for the living and resurrected King of glory, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. Continue to clap for Jesus. He deserves your clap. Give him a bigger clap offerings. More and more! I know it better for the Holy Spirit. your neighbor with a smiling face. Shalom. Greet your neighbor with a joyful and smiling face. Shalom. Move around and look for someone who can smile better and greet the person. Shalom. Move round, move round, move round, move round. Tell your neighbor, relax. You are in your home. Are you smiling? Are you joyful? Say neighbor. Relax. For you are in your home. Say neighbor. The presence of God. The presence of Jesus Christ. And the presence of the Holy Spirit is your everlasting home. Say neighbor, as for me and my household, we will dwell and continue to dwell. In the presence of God. In the presence of Jesus Christ. And in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Forever. Tell your number. Did you hear what I said? Forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. Hallelujah. God has decided to assemble his heavenly warriors 
and has commissioned them to fight. Record it, write it down, and put them in your heart. God has decided to commission his heavenly hosts. I am talking about all the armies of heaven. In charge of all spiritual warfare. To fight. These are armies that never lost the battle. Who are they commissioned to fight against? They are commissioned to fight against the enemies of humanity. Who are these enemies? The enemies of humanity are not people who have flesh and blood. But unseen forces of darkness, spiritual wickedness, rulers, Kings and queens of the dark world. They are Satan, Lucifer, serpent, idols, ancient dragon, Leviathan, the king of the marine world, Mehmed or the queen of the coasts, witches, wizards, spirit of divination, sorcery, deception, disobedience, sexual immorality, fornication, adultery, Drunkenness, spirits behind addictions. For instance, addiction to smoking, addiction to taking harmful substances, anger, envy, jealousy, laziness, Stubbornness, pride, stinginess, lies, insincerity, bitterness, unforgiveness, rudeness, evil suspicion, blasphemy. Hardship, poverty, corruption, injustice, oppression, meaning captivity of any kind, fear, doubt, guilt, condemnation, low self-esteem or inferiority complex. Procrastination, greed, witch hunting or witch hunt, 
evil spirits that are behind offense and lives of sins and sinful desires. The war, the spiritual battle has started. It is going to start within and then spread without. Meaning there will not be any hiding place for any evil spirit or spirit. God has heard the cries of the faithful ones that live in various nations. And as I said, he has decided to bring down the heavenly armies or hosts to fight the battle. Amen. Once and for all. Amen. And to give the victory Amen. to everyone. Amen. What is our role? We must cooperate with God at work. What is our role? We must cooperate with God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit at work. Moses told the people, be still. The Lord God Almighty will fight for you. This battle of survival is not the world's or any inhabitant of the world's personal challenge, but the Lord's. Meaning, it is a challenge that is questioning the authority of God. Who can question the unquestionable God? Can I hear you? No. Can I hear you? No. Can Satan? No. Can Lucifer? No. Can snake? No. Can idol? No. Can sin? No. Or sinful desire? No. Question God's authority? No. Can I hear you louder? No. no. Say it louder. you will begin to see people becoming an ex-murderers, an ex-kidnappers, an ex-sick people, an ex-prostitute. You will begin to see people Becoming ex-kidnappers, ex-murderers, ex-prostitutes, ex-wayward people, ex-poor people, ex-barren men and women. As I said, this battle has already started. When God fights, victory is always assured. Your family will become an ex-family of never-do-wells. Did you hear what I said? 
your family that have been struggling to put food on the table, struggling to educate members of the family, struggling to succeed in life, will become an ex-family of never do wells. Yeah. Did you hear what I said now? Yeah. Meaning, members of your family will become ex-tenants. Members of your family will become ex-tenants. The Israelites were tenants in Egypt. They were regarded as strangers. God took them out by himself and placed them in a place where they found everything they needed to become landlords, house owners, and owners of the land. Your family will become an ex-family of never do well. People will say, we thought that this marriage of these people were covered with the garment of barrenness. Look at various children here, both male and female. You will automatically become an ex-sinner. Meaning, you will be called the redeemed of the Lord. Make sure you write these words down. Because you will live to see them. Coming to pass. They will not come to pass when you leave this physical world. That is why you must write them down now. Tell your neighbor, it is my turn. I will live and witness the glory of God. Say neighbor, I will be alive to have the everlasting blessings of God. Ask your neighbor, will you? Will you? This calls for a change in attitudes. This calls for a change 
in behaviors. Your attitude must be positive. Full of hope. Confidence in God. And love. If you know that you will soon become richer, wealthier, healthier, well placed in this society, and recognized in the nearest future, you will learn to start preparing for them. Not next time, but now. You will start preparing for them, not when? Next time. But when? Now. You that believed that you have something, now think again. For what is coming is much more bigger than what you have. This calls for humility. This calls for what? Generosity, simplicity, faithfulness, self-control, meaning contentment. Even if it is few things you have now, you will not be looking at someone trying to measure yourself or compare yourself. You will be content. Knowing fully well that the life of abundance, multiplication, and grace to prosper has just been transferred into you forever. It is no longer a matter of saying, Abraham was blessed. You and your household will be blessed forever. They don't listen to that. Say neighbor, neighbor, it is no longer, no longer. A, story a story or a matter, or a matter of, saying of saying that God's blessings, God's blessings rested, upon Abraham, rested upon Abraham, his entire family, his and the nation Israel. Say, neighbor, as I speak to you, God's everlasting blessings are resting upon my life and your life forever. Remember that it is the spiritual that controls the physical. God wanted to manifest what we are seeing today. For instance, the earth, the water, meaning he wanted to create the earth, the water, the light. Every living thing that we can see living on earth and living in the water. Every creature we can see that are also inhabiting the air. What did he do? He just spoke the word and they were created. He used his word to bring into existence the things we are seeing now. And that words are living in you. They don't hear what I said. Hmm. If you have heard what I said, you would have made louder noise than this. You would have shouted louder than this. You would have been celebrating. He just said, let there be light. And he manifested light with his word. And there was what? light. Listen, your family will become an ex-family 
of never do well. Something is manifesting in your life and in your family. Something is changing in your lineage. Something is changing in your family, in your health, in your career, in your tribe, in your nation. What is changing? The promises of God are coming to pass. The promises of God are revealing themselves in your career, in your family, in your marriage, in your health, in your destiny, in the fruit of your womb. Not just now, but forever. Has anyone been able to stop the sun from shining? Can I hear you? When you have doubt and are possessed by Satan, you will not even ask yourself this kind of question. God said, let there be light. And there was light. That light is what you are seeing everywhere. You see the sun coming out and shining to let you know that there is what? Light. You see the moon coming out to exchange position and shine to let you know that there is what? What about the stars? You see them coming out to shine to let you know that there is what? Right from the beginning of creation up until now has any power of darkness or anyone been able to stop the light of God from shining? Your family has become an ex-family of never-do-wells. Who can stop this? You, no. your neighbors, no. those who fought with you, no. those who are cursing you, no. those who say your family will never succeed, no. say never. never. My, family My family, as from now, has become an ex family of never do wells. Say neighbor. Poverty is gone forever. Say neighbor. Poverty is gone forever. Say neighbor. Sudden death is no more found. Say neighbor. Sudden death is no more found. Say neighbor, sickness and disease are gone forever. Say neighbor, the pains in my body are gone forever. I feel no pain. I feel the presence of God. Say, neighbor, I am feeling the presence of God. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Say, neighbor, I am not feeling Pain. Anywhere. Anytime. Forever. And ever. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Accidents are nowhere 
to be found. Say neighbor. Barrenness is gone forever. Say neighbor. Setback has gone forever. Say neighbor. Rejection and hatred are no longer traced nor found in my life and my family forever. Say neighbor. I see love. Say neighbor. I see joy. Can I see your joy? What are you seeing? Ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? Ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? Paul and Silas found themselves in a prison. Their neighbors were screaming, crying, lamenting, and they tried to find sadness. They also tried to find imprisonment, sorrow, guilt, condemnation. They could not find anyone. What did they find in the prison? From the living well of joy in their heart, they sang praises to God, the provider of joy. Ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? Say, neighbor, I cannot find doubt. Say, neighbor, I cannot find any doubt. Say, neighbor, I cannot see any fear. Say, neighbor, I cannot see any fear. Say, neighbor, what are you seeing? Say, neighbor, what are you seeing? As for me, I cannot find any imprisonment. I cannot find any spiritual imprisonment. Say, neighbor, I see myself and my career moving freely. Say, neighbor, I see my destiny moving freely. Say, neighbor, I see my business and my ministry prospering, prospering, prospering forever and ever and ever. Say, neighbor, what are you seeing? Say, neighbor, what are you seeing? Say, neighbor. What are you seeing? <laughs> Jesus came on the scene and restored the sight of the man that was born blind. In John chapter 9, he told the people, you knew me as a blind man, but currently I have become an ex-blind man. All I can say is that a while ago, I was what? Blind. Which I'm not ready to talk about anymore. I am not dwelling in the past. Currently, 
I know that I can do what? See. What can you see? Ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? Say, neighbor, I am seeing the finger of God working out salvation for me and my generation forever. Say, neighbor, I can see knowledge, not ignorance. Say, neighbor, what are you seeing? I see your business moving from failure to success. From setback to breakthroughs. Ask your neighbor, I can see something. I can see something beyond my imagination. Beyond my description. Say, neighbor, where do I start to explain how it happened? When it happened? And the kind of good things that have happened? Say, neighbor, I see the goodness of God in my life. Say, neighbor, I am seeing the goodness of God upon your life forever. Say, neighbor, awake. Say, neighbor, fear not. Neighbor, Awake. Fear not. And doubt no more. For I am seeing your open doors. Say neighbor. I am seeing God's invisible hands opening the closed doors. That no one can close anymore. And I'm seeing you going into the house of blessings, the house of salvation, the house of freedom, and breakthroughs. I'm possessing godly possessions. Say, neighbor, move. Say, neighbor, move. Say, neighbor, you are free to move. Say, neighbor, step out. For you are no longer a tenant, but a landlord of good things. Say, neighbor, step out. Let your spirit step out. Let your destiny step out. Let your marriage step out. Let your family Step out and enter a place of rest. For I am seeing you. Say neighbor. Touch the person. Say neighbor. I am seeing you, 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 you. Say neighbor. I am seeing you, 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 you. Becoming a landlord, a 
possessor of God's goodness and blessings, not a tenant, not a wretched soul. Something is happening. What is screen? This is a spiritual declaration that comes with instant result. Those whose spirits are not willing to move are forced to receive deliverance. What is screen? Your life must move. Your destiny must move. Your heart must move. Everything about you must move. You are no longer a tenant. You are a landlord. And a possessor. Of God's heavenly blessings. You are no longer barren. You are becoming fruitful. You are becoming fruitful. Your blessings will be multiplied. Your blessings will be replenished by God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit forever, forever, and ever, and ever. It is a must for everyone within the church auditorium, outside the church auditorium, wherever you are all around the world, I command your life to move from hardship to prosperity. I command your life to move from captivity to freedom. I command your position to move from limitation to breakthrough, from limitation to promotion. Move, 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 move. I command your dreams to move. From nightmares to prophetic dreams. I command your spiritual life to move from ignorance to knowledge. I command your life to move from failure to success forever and ever and ever. I command your star, your destiny, to move from hatred to love forever and ever and ever. You must move. You must move. You must move. You must move. You must move! I am seeing those that have been owed being fully paid. It is not just like a mere declaration. As I speak, they are coming to pass. Those who have failed to pay you are being reminded by the Spirit of God. As you are speaking, there are phone calls.
that will confirm this prophetic declaration. And I'm seeing the enemies of your life that are attacking your finances being completely destroyed by God's heavenly armies. Let there be spiritual revival. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. I command your finances to be blessed. I command your finances to be blessed. I command your spiritual life to be blessed. I am seeing the quest to commit sin being totally destroyed. Receive the spirit of holiness. Receive the spirit of holiness. Receive. 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 Receive the spirit of righteousness. Receive the spirit of righteousness. I command your heart to be righteous. I command the thoughts in your heart to be righteous. I command your words and your tongue to be righteous. I command your characters and behaviors to be righteous forever and ever and ever. Receive the grace. Receive Receive! 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 I command your tongue to be anointed to speak God's word. To speak heavenly languages. And I command all satanic languages, satanic tongues, to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. 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 I suffer to your tongue. I suffer to your tongue. All satanic tongues that are rising up against your life, your family, your family, your family, your health, your marriage. Your destiny. Everywhere. Holy Ghost fire. Say fire. Say fire. Say fire. Say fire. Tia. 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 Destroy the idols. Destroy the powers of darkness. Destroy every tongue in charge of poverty, hardship, divorce, war, war, bloodshed, 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 disunity, confusion. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Holy Ghost fire, say fire, say fire, say fire, say fire, fire, fire. Destroy them. Destroy all of them. All satanic dogs.
tongues that are rising up against your nation, your tribe, your tribe, your tribe, anywhere there. Holy Ghost fire, say fire, say fire, 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 destroy them. Remember the heavenly armies are fighting the battle on your behalf. Whatever you destroy here on earth will be destroyed in heaven. Authority and power have been given to you. All satanic tongues, evil decisions that are bringing hardship, poverty, corruption, injustice into nations anywhere they are. In the modern world, Bermuda Triangle, Red Sea, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Blue Sea, in the air, on the ground, under the ground, in any place, any planet, in the sun, in the moon, in any galaxy. Or planet anywhere in the air. Holy Ghost fire. Say fire. 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 Destroy all of them. The war has begun and Satan and his evil agents must lose the battle. They must lose the battle. They must lose the battle. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. All satanic powers in charge of wrong judgment. All satanic powers in charge of bad governance, sufferings, hardship, joblessness, delay, confusion, setback. Setback, sudden death, kidnapping, robbery, terrorism, racism, bigotry, bigotry, hatred, division, anger, anger, fornication, adultery, drunkenness, rivalries, seduction, seduction. Masturbation, masturbation, anywhere they are, anywhere they are, you divination, divination, witchcraft, 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 idols, 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 occulting powers, occulting powers, anywhere you are, Holy Ghost fire, set fire. All of them will be exposed. All of them. Say fire to 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 them. No one is bigger than God. Anywhere they are. Holy Ghost fire. Say fire. Say fire. Say fire. Set fire! Ta! 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 
continue to declare war against them. Make sure that you are praying. Make sure that you are praying. The hosts of heaven are waging war, striking down all satanic authorities. The sufferings must come to an end. Confusion and disunity must come to an end. Corruption, injustice, misrule must come to an end. Lies of sin must come to an end. Continue to pray. Terrorism must come to an end. Bloodshed must come to an end. Accidents, sudden death must come to an end. Kidnapping must come to an end. laboratories in the invisible world and also in the visible world that are inventing sicknesses and diseases that are inventing and sharing curable sicknesses and incurable sicknesses and diseases all around the world anywhere they are Holy Ghost fire, set fire, set fire, set fire to them, set fire, 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 destroy the evil laboratories, destroy their sicknesses and diseases, destroy all of them, send fire to the root of your nation. The foundation of your nation and the life of your nation. Send fire to the root of your own life and the foundation of your life. Anything that is not of God that has been existing to cause pain sudden death, confusion, hardship, delay, HIV AIDS, cancer, ulcer, tuberculosis, you tuberculosis, you tuberculosis, asthma, asthma, Omicron. Delta variants, pneumonia, pneumonia, blindness, blindness, autism, autism, paralysis, stroke, hypertension, hypertension, diabetes, fibroid, fibroid. Ovarian cyst, ovarian cyst, deafness, 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 madness, madness, depression, 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 appendix, appendix, hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid, typhoid, typhoid, asthma, asthma, boil, boil, evil worms, evil worms, satanic worms in any part of your body. 
satanic worms in any part of your blood. Holy Ghost fire. Say fire. 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 Destroy all of them. Anywhere they're hiding. In your womb. Snacks. In your womb. Snacks. In your womb. Spirit your husband. Spirit your husband. Spirit your husband. Spirit your wife. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Holy Ghost fire. Set fire. Set fire. 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 Set fire to the spirit your husband. Set fire to all of them. Remember, you are an ex-possessed person. All evil spirits that try to possess your life, all evil spirits that are possessing your soul, your spirit, your body, anywhere they are, Holy Ghost fire, say fire, Fire! 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 Disconnect yourself from them. Disconnect yourself from them. Disconnect your business from them. All agents of Satan that have stopped your contracts, that are blocking your contracts, your breakthroughs, your financial breakthroughs, your spiritual life, anywhere they are, in your dreams, in your home, in your office, in your company, in your ministry, on your way, Holy Ghost fire, set fire, set fire, set fire, 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 set fire everywhere. Set fire everywhere. Set fire everywhere. The works of your hands must prosper. The goods in your shop must be sold. Every spirit of delay, every spirit of delay, stagnation, near success syndrome, Near success syndrome, sleep paralysis, sleep paralysis, sleep apnea, conversion, conversion, sickle cell anemia, sickle cell anemia. Where are you? Holy Ghost fire, set fire, set fire, set fire. Fire! 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 You must live again. You must not die. Make sure you're praying. Make sure that you're praying. Satanic agents that hold your documents, hold your file, and stop them from being attended to in your favor. Holy Ghost fire! 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 
destroy all of them. Destroy them for you are created to prosper. Your plans are created to succeed and not to fail. God's plans for you is for you to succeed and not to fail. Same fire to wherever they're hiding your files, your folders, your names, your documents. Same fire to the code through which you can be contacted. All satanic obstacles, all satanic obstacles, evil fingers of satanic agents that are blocking your file, working against your success, marking you bad anywhere they are. Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire. Same fire to them. They must mark you good. They must see your coat and release your font and funds. They must see your code and release your funds, your finances. You worked for them. The worker is worthy of his wages. The worker is worthy of his wages. I send fire to the coven world Satanic banks, satanic banks, satanic banks in the occult world. I send the fire of the Holy Spirit to all satanic banks in the occult world, marine world, in the coven of witches and wizards that are keeping your money. Your finances, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, 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 destroy all of them and release your money, release your fund, release your finances, release your intelligence. And destroy loss of memory, forgetfulness. Unblock important contacts that will contact you and cause your life to prosper. All evil hands and fingers that have blocked important contacts that will help you to succeed, I command all of them to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Fire! 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 They cannot block your customers. They cannot block your names from being approved. They cannot block your promotion. They cannot block your womb. They cannot block your intelligence, your wisdom, your success. Continue to pray. This is the very moment you will never live to forget. Continue to pray. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Everything was manifested. Anything that is not planted by God 
in your life, nation, or family must be completely uprooted, gathered together, and destroyed. None of them will escape. Destroy all of them. You spirit of Antichrist. You spirit of Antichrist. Spirit of false prophets. Spirit of end time. Spirit of deception. Lies. Sexual immorality. Confusion. Evil managers that are sitting in the position of leadership to destroy nations, tribes, religions, and people on earth. Holy God, fire! 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 Send fire to them. Send fire to them. All satanic powers that are against development, improvement, evil powers that are sending away your blessings anywhere they are in the east, west, south, not in the visible and in the invisible world. Holy Ghost fire. Say fire. Say fire. Say fire. 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 No one can send your blessings away. Your blessings must seek and find you. Your helpers must seek and find you. I command your blessings to flow into your life forever. Like the fountain of life. Receive! 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 I command your helpers who are sent by God to bring blessings into your life to seek and find you. Receive the grace. Receive the anointing that will attract them to seek and find you. Receive! 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 Both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire of the Holy Spirit to destroy false prophetic messages that are ever delivered or given by false prophets evil messages of threat of death hardship poverty generational curses accidents misfortunes Barrenness, whatever form of messages that are ever delivered by false prophets to cause fear, guilt, condemnation, and to lead people to the devil, I command all of them to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. I command the promises of God to be manifested. Let the promises of God for your life come to pass. 
Let them be reviewed. Receive the grace. Receive. Let them be reviewed in your marriage. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Replenish. Multiply. And fill the earth. Have dominion over the unseen enemies both now and forevermore. Receive the grace. Grace of dominion. Receive the grace. Grace of victory. Receive. 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 I command your life to live and grow. I command your life to survive every attack. I command your life to dominate. To rule. Receive the grace of dominion. Receive the grace of godly leadership. Receive. 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 Forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. Come on, celebrate. Celebrate. Continue to celebrate. Continue to celebrate. Someone is an ex sick person. Are you the one? Are you sure? Come on, celebrate! Someone has become a child of favor. Who is the person? Who is the person? Come on, celebrate. Celebrate! Grace of the living God Almighty and of His Son and of the Holy Spirit always live in you, lead and guide you, bless you abundantly, protect you you're going out and you're coming in. Amen. You're sleeping and you're waking up. Amen. Both now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you are members of your family shall dwell in the house of the Lord God Almighty both now and forevermore. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Someone is a conqueror. Someone is a winner. Someone is a shalomite. Someone is a Kojimite. Someone is partnering with God. With Jesus Christ and with the Holy Spirit. Forever. Say neighbor. I am dwelling in the presence of God. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. 
forever. Say, so neighbor, when I speak, I speak with the Spirit of God. When I speak, I speak with the power of God. Say, so neighbor, as I will be stepping out, I will be stepping out with the power of God. Say, so neighbor, when I move, I will be moving to my shop, to my office, to my house, to my home, to my way, with the Spirit of God. Say, neighbor, where the Spirit of God is, there is freedom. Say, neighbor, I have checked myself. I have confirmed that I am totally free. Say, neighbor, where the Spirit of God is, there is always freedom. There is always liberty. Say, neighbor, the presence of God is the arena of freedom. The arena of liberty. Say, neighbor, I am not going out or ending this service without the presence of God. Anywhere I go, behold, he is there. Say, anywhere I go, behold the presence of God. The Holy Spirit is there with me, by my side, in my front, at my back. As I speak, he speaks through me. As I pray, he prays through me. As I rest, he does not rest. He continues the job. When I'm eating, he is watching over me. When I'm drinking water or any soft drink that is not harmful to my health, he is by my side. For he is the living water. Say, neighbor, the fountain of life is flowing, is flowing in my life, into my life, is flowing, is flowing. In my home, into my home, in my marriage, into my marriage, in my ministry, and into my ministry. Say, neighbor, I see the fountain of life being opened to flow and water every part of my nation. Say your neighbor, neighbor, shalom. Say neighbor, shalom. Say neighbor, peace forever and ever and ever. Make sure you say in Jesus Christ's name. Say neighbor. neighbor in Jesus Christ's name. Jesus Christ's name. We, have we have declared. Say neighbor, neighbor. they are already coming to pass. To confirm what God said in Isaiah chapter 64. 
in Isaiah chapter 65, in Isaiah chapter 62, it is clearly written that the word of God is always prophetic. The words I spoke were not mine. They were affected by the Holy Spirit. While I was speaking, God himself was answering them, was confirming them, and bringing them to pass. Say, neighbor, my life in this manner is a life of testimony. Say, neighbor, your life as from now is a life of testimony. Say, neighbor, neighbor, God said to you in Isaiah 65, verses 24 and 25. That while we are still speaking, he will confirm our words. Say, neighbor, I'm a blessed child forever and ever and ever. Shalom. 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 Viewers, the spiritual battle continues. The hosts of heaven are there and they are in charge. Be in this kind of atmosphere, this kind of spiritual atmosphere full of positive words so that the victory you have clamored for will become yours forever. Rapture is real. That rapture is real, that should affect the way you live your life. Life is better spent living and doing the will of God. Life is better lived or used to glorify God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. No matter your position in the world, no matter your possessions, no matter your background or race, you can choose to live your life to glorify God. Living for God is not a matter of choice. It is a must. All decisions, plans, or desires always have impacts or repercussions. Since you are set free by God, allow the word of God to order your steps, to form your own plan or plans. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. As you know, the end has already come to your problems and you have become an ex-loser. See what you can do to help your fellow human beings. Stop speaking against yourself. Stop speaking against your neighbors. Stop speaking against other political parties, other religions. Stop speaking against people that are placed in a position to lead either your nation, your church, your organization, your company, or office. These people are people with flesh and blood. They are not your enemies. The enemies are invisible. They are the manipulators, manipulating minds of people to do the wrong thing. If you want to correct that evil acts. You should do what is right. 
it is not by speaking against. Do what is right to change the bad things you are saying. If a sinner must be saved, someone has to be used by God to do that. You cannot save the soul of the person you are speaking against. You must attend to the person with a heart of love for God's sake. The Bible says, even those that are going down to the pit of sin, you should soberly, carefully, and gently pull them from the fire of sin and save their souls. If anyone is caught in any sin, you who are spiritual should restore such a person gently so that you too will not be tempted. Let us help other people to receive salvation. Not the next time, but now. In Jesus Christ's name. Shalom. Partners, let us clap for partners. Partners of the City of Jesus International Ministry, both local and foreign partners, let's clap for them. Your support, heartfelt support, have been so rich and appreciated. Let's clap for them again. No one can succeed alone. The success of this ministry is simply a collection of efforts of partners and lovers of God. Let us clap for them. I do not say you should clap for yourself. Clap for the partners. We also want to commend the relentless effort of members of the City of Jesus International Ministry. Let's clap for them. You can do better. Clap for them. God himself has appreciated your commitment and love for the ministry, the City of Jesus International Ministry. Many of you do wake up very, very early just to make sure that you attend service and even wait till the service ends, no matter the time. Let us clap for members. Let's clap for them. These real members are not among the people that I used to say, Ekbejue can go. There are people that always wait patiently, come very early, wait patiently, and receive the grace before they go. Let's clap for them. <laughs> Viewers seem to be asking, what is it Bejo can go? <laughs> oh my God. There are some people with different opinions that are formed in their hearts by their feelings that once you are in a church and you are able to listen to the word of God and pray to your own satisfaction, you can decide to leave the church anytime you want, even without waiting for the grace. These are the people that call themselves Ekbejuo Kango. And we will not fail to clap for the eight way you can go because they are tent. <laughs> clap for them.
Please, don't be spiritually selfish. Don't be selective. Clap for the egg where you can go. All right. We still have people that do come once in a while because of their commitments as well, which is good. We are members of one body. This is not the only living ministry. There are living ministries all around the world, and these kind of people do visit occasionally. Let's clap for them as well. Make it louder. And we have people that always sit online. They have taken this online service as their own church or place of worship. To them, they believe once they watch and follow the program, their needs will be met. And many of them have various testimonies as a result of persistently watching with an obedient spirit. Let's clap for them. These are people that you see commenting, liking, sharing. And they have also subscribed our YouTube channel at Christopher Oji Ministries. Anytime there is any program or any video, they will be notified because when they subscribed, they also pressed the notification button. There are some members that are not only members in the church, but they have also subscribed. You see them after the service, they go back home to rewatch everything and use everything to pray again. These people have also subscribed and you see them dropping their comments at the comment section. These are real members. Clap for them. These members are the ones sharing this online link. The link of our YouTube channel, our Facebook page with all their contacts. To them, they are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For they believe it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. So they always want to carry people along. Say, please, I don't want to post dirty things on my WhatsApp status. See me the way I am. This is where I belong to. You see them placing the happenings here and the link of the happenings here on their WhatsApp status. Let's clap for them. There are also people, they are members here, but they don't place anything that is happening here on their WhatsApp status or on their social media handles. They want to be like Nicodemus. They come, sneak in, sneak out, and they don't want their friends to know where they are worshiping. Let's clap for them too. Tell your neighbor, I will never condemn you. Say neighbor, you have a conscience. I will never condemn you. Let's clap for them. As we are speaking now, they are changing. They say, man of God knows me. Oh. I will repent. I will start putting it right. Doing things right. I'm placing the link on my social media handles. Let's clap for people like that. We have people here that anytime they eat, they remember that this ministry the City of Jesus International Ministry has lots of workers. 
that also need to eat. Once they eat, they take out of the portion that they believe that belong to God. And we see them supplying things like that to the ministry without being told by any minister, evangelist, or any worker. Let's clap for people like that. If there is anything that happened, maybe a storm or heavy wind, you will see them calling. They will call the ministry line. I hope everything is okay. This is what is happening on our own side. What about the building? What about the roof? What about this? What about that? I hope everything is okay. They have a caring ministry. Let us clap for them. And there are people, even if the whole earth is turning upside down, you will never hear them calling to ask. I hope you people are safe. I hope everything is okay. They will never drive in to say, I came not because I'm invited, but because I just want to know if everything is okay with you people. You see them coming on Sunday. Some of them stand as individual can go. Let us also clap for them. There are people who have been committed from the beginning of this ministry. When this ministry was not like this, this place was a bush before, full of many trees. It was not a habitable place. But the actions of these few people were prophetic. We are what? They will come, even with counseling, don't worry, everything will be alright. Everything will be alright. Don't worry, it will soon change. This will soon change. This will soon happen. You see them supporting. Morally, you see them supporting financially. You see them being committed to the work of God. And since the beginning till now, they are not ready to stop because this seem to be like, let me not use the word like, this is simply an assignment that God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit have given to them. To them, they cannot fail God at all. It is better for them to fail themselves than to fail God. But God is extremely faithful. And that is why these few people lack nothing and want nothing. Because their needs are always supply it. Let's clap for God and for them. You can do that better. Clap for God and clap for them. These are people you will see. We don't need to tell them, pay your tithe. These are people you see we don't need to tell them, sow your seed. These are people you see. We don't need to tell them, give offerings. Or pay your vow. The vow you have made to God. On their own, they have received a divine mandate from God. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. To do them regularly. And their financial lives never dried up. Instead, they are growing from strength to strength. Let's clap for them.
There are so many also who are always coming around, not because they do not have. They have. But they are waiting for somebody to tell them, do this. And we are not the type that can also come out and say, we have bazaar. There will be an occasion where we'll be calling people. Come and say what you give to the church. They have been waiting for one day who will say that so that they will come out and say, me, I will give 20 million, 100 million, 200 million. They have been waiting. You see them with their big cars. These are people that have properties everywhere. And they came here and they received everything. But they are waiting for a time that will make it public so that they will showcase themselves. But God will never and has never allowed that. Let us also clap for them. Your clap seems not to be louder. Make it louder. You will see them when they come to see me one on one. They will say, man of God, when are we going to have this kind of vocation or that kind of vocation? And anytime they ask me, I will say, okay, the same God whom you have come here to serve will let you know. But as for me, I only listen to the voice of God. Whatever the Spirit of God tells me to do, I will do. God told me, don't worry, everything will be built and be like this. The design, everything I saw in my revelation is what has been replicated here. This is exactly what I saw in a dream. And he did not tell me, go and begin to tell people, do this, do that. And I quietly allowed everything to be built like this. Let's clap for God for that. Now, you have received a new life and you have become an ex-stingy person who is waiting for when to be told to do this and to do that. Do you need another teacher? Another instructor? Another program that will call you out to say, come and do this or come and do that? You should be led by the Holy Spirit. And whatever you do, you are not doing to Christopher Oji. You are not doing anything to the city of Jesus International Ministry, but to God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. There are also people that form themselves into groups just to speak against the ministry which God himself allowed because he believes that the way to the kingdom of heaven, his own kingdom, will never be a bed of roses. On this way to the kingdom of God, you will see snakes and you also see what? Scorpions. And dangerous creatures that are capable of diverting your focus not to enter into the kingdom of God. So these people also are busy doing their work. Let us clap for them. Any anointing that is free from attacks, persecution, and the like is not from God. So let's clap for them. That clap is not loud enough. Why are you selfish? Clap for them! Good. So on this note, I stand on behalf of the living God Almighty, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, to appreciate everybody and not to condemn anyone. Let us also appreciate the effort of ministers of God all around the world. We have people who are not 
causing division in the body of Christ. Let's clap for them. You can make it louder. We also have people who allowed themselves to be used to fulfill the other part of the scripture. So these people are wolves that are putting on the garment of sheep. Can you blame anybody who is fulfilling the scripture? You cannot because you are not called to judge. Let us also clap for them. Our prayers for everyone is that everyone will continue to come to the full knowledge of God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, so that all of us together will gladly enter into the kingdom of God on the last day. Meaning, all of us will be found worthy to be raptured by God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit on the last day. In Jesus Christ's name. Shalom. Shalom.